everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to be breaking down the Luca teaser trailer that was recently released. To be completely honest, at first I was a little unsure about this movie, but the trailer really sold the concept to me. So the trailer opens up with a shot of the Italian Riviera. There is beautiful blue water and lush green hills. You can also see a town in the distance. Next shot is a close up of the town and we see a fishing boat called Elena on the river. As you will see as we go through this trailer, fishing will be a major element to the film. After this we go into the town square filled with people and it looks exactly like Italy. We previously saw a different angle of this shot in a promotional image as you can see the same gelato and focaccia store in the corner. Another store that you can see is called Bar Pidaluga. From the illustration it appears to be a seafood restaurant. Next we get a close up of Luca taking in the sights. As you can see the character design is very cartoony, him having round features instead of realistic ones. The style also kind of reminds me of Wallace and Gromit. Next there is a group of men playing cards. One of them yells out Scopa which is one of the two major national card games in Italy. This is followed by some people enjoying coffee which is another part of the Italian culture. Then we have that classic shot of an Italian lady hanging out the laundry that we have seen in countless movies and TV shows set in Italy. We get another shot of Luca wandering around and he comes across two kids eating a watermelon. There is actually a cool little easter egg here with Miguel from Coco appearing on the newspaper. Next we get our first shot of Julia, the human girl character who again has a very cartoony look with vibrant red hair. As I have previously said she looks very similar to May from the upcoming Turning Red and she definitely has a similar personality to young Ellie from Up. Additionally, it is important to note here that she is wearing a fisherman beanie, which makes sense as her father is a fisherman. According to an Entertainment Weekly article, Julia feels very righteous about injustice and has this strong intensity. My theory is that she is against the way her town in Italy treats sea creatures, putting her in conflict with her father. In the next shot, we see all three of the kid characters. Their posture and facial expressions really really sum up their personalities. Julia looks strong and intense, Luca looks scared and insecure, and Alberto looks confident and carefree. You might also notice that all of their feet are exposed which must have been a nightmare to animate. The three then declare themselves underdogs and they put their hands together cementing their bond. After this an Italian version of You Are My Sunshine starts playing which I thought was a really great choice. While the music plays we get four different shots of Julia and Luca walking on rooftops at night. Julia is leading the way as she knows the area and Luca is following behind her acting shy. I particularly like this shot of Julia helping Luca up and this shot of the moon is a reference to director Enrico Casarosa's previous short La Luna. Next there is a shot of Luca and Alberto near the water staring longingly at the town. This appears to be an emotional scene and hopefully we will be able to work out what is happening when we get the plot information later. Next is a very revealing scene of Luca and Alberto building something. Alberto has all of his clothing but Luca only has his seaweed shorts on which are part of his sea monster form as seen in the official poster. From the Entertainment Weekly article we know that Alberto is the one who drags Luca to the surface world. He has been here before and has clothes prepared. In contrast it is Luca's first time in Italy and he doesn't have anything to wear yet. After this we get another shot from the night sequence with Luca and Julia lying down. Julia seems to be doing all of the talking giving off major Ellie vibes again. In contrast Luca is sitting silently looking at her lovingly. It is quite clear from this shot that she is the love interest. Now I know that a lot of people want Luca and Alberto to be together but I don't think it's going to happen in this film. The reason I think this is because the character of Luca is based on the director Enrico Casarosa and Alberto is based on his real life childhood best friend. These two people are not in a romantic relationship and Enrico is married to a woman. I just don't think a person would base a character on themselves and then change their sexuality. But I do hope we get a gay leading character in a Disney film soon as I think it's a great idea. Next is a shot of the two boys looking out to the water during sunset. The coolest thing about this shot is that Luca has copied Alberto's hair. Obviously he wants to be just like him. Next we have several shots of the two friends running down a hill which we saw before at the Disney Investor Day. After this we have the sea cave shot which we again have seen. Next shot is new featuring Julia looking through a telescope while Luca is reading a book. 
It is called L'Universo, which translates to the universe. This was the same book that Julia was holding earlier in the trailer, which indicates that she has a keen interest in exploring the world, and could potentially get to explore the sea monster world with the boys. After this, we get a shot of Luca and Alberto jumping off a cliff, which is identical to the first piece of concept art we got for the film. Then we see Luca and Alberto dancing along to music played on a gramophone. This could potentially mean that the movie is not set in present day. I haven't seen any modern technologies in this trailer, so it could be set in the past. An important thing to note here is that the planks on the floor are very unstable. This could end in disaster as the boys could fall into the water, exposing their sea monster form. Next sequence features Luca and Alberto on a bike, which has clearly been handmade by Alberto. Luca looks pretty scared and is wearing a pot as a helmet. You see, Alberto thinks he is an expert on human things, but he gets a lot of things wrong as he is only looking at them from afar. He is basically scuttled from the Little Mermaid. This overconfidence causes him to make a bike that is clearly unsafe. Also, weirdly, they have a life float on the back, and I really don't think they need it. They then fly off the ramp with a tortoise in front of it and go past some seagulls. I am fully expecting a Finding Nemo Easter egg here. Eventually, they reach the water and we get our first look at the boys in their sea monster form. Alberto is a purple sea monster and Luca is a green and blue one. Both have yellow eyes and pointy teeth. They aren't super clear images, but I expect we will get a better look in the next trailer. We then have two randoms confused as to why two boys disappeared into the water. I'm not sure if these characters will be significant to the plot or are just there for this funny line. The boys as sea monsters are then seen hiding behind rocks from some fishermen. Lucas states that no one can find out, and there is a montage of various images of humans attacking sea monsters with scary horror music playing. The most significant image is of a fountain of a man slaying a sea monster who looks similar to Massimo, possibly one of his ancestors. The next shot features two angry old ladies holding gelato, presumably looking at Luca. These were the same ladies seen in some of the concept art, and they obviously hate sea monsters. After this, we get a sequence of Luca and Alberto swimming in the ocean. As they jump out of the water, they transform back into humans. This was the moment I was sold on the whole sea monster thing. The transformation animation was cool, and I can't wait to see more. We then get a new logo for the film, which features the title Luca painted in blue and green on a wall. The end sequence is really cool, and it actually reveals a lot about the film. There is a horrifying shot of a fish being cut, which reminds me of the chef sequence in The Little Mermaid. The man cutting the fish is Julia's father, who has a tattoo depicting a sea monster being killed. So obviously he is going to be a major source of anxiety for the two boys. Luca spits out his drink in horror, causing half of Alberto's face to transform into to a sea monster. In a panic, Luca throws him to the ground. Luckily, this goes unnoticed by Julia and her father, but he does ask them, where did you boys say you were from? Clearly suspicious of them. I don't like how this character doesn't have eyes, but I do really like the cat design. It is quite obvious that this guy is out to get sea monsters, as to the left, here's a map of Italy, with various locations of sea monsters with knife targets placed on them. In an interview, the director of the film said that sea monsters are tied to Italian fishing culture. Fishermen would tell each other that there is a sea monster in a certain area, as there was good fishing there and they didn't want anyone else to go there. And finally, we have Luca laughing nervously at a title stating that the movie is coming out summer 2021. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.